Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. So today in this video, we are going to see how to connect the Postman to database. So in one of my previous video, we have seen how to connect our Postman to Postgres database. So it, today in this video, we are going to see how to connect our Postman to MySQL. Okay. So these are the two databases currently it is available uh, where you can connect your Postman to uh, database. I mean, there are a couple of uh, PL SQL also you can connect, I think by using this particular library, okay? So we are going to see about this one today, how to connect your Postman to MySQL, okay? So for that, what we have to use now, so we are going to use this particular node-based library, which is my X my SQL, okay? So which is X my SQL, it is running based on the node, okay? So you have to make sure like you have to install the node.js and it required uh, the node version is greater than 6.0. Okay, so it this particular library which is X My SQL, it is going to install through the Node Package Manager. Okay, so you have to copy this command. I mean, you have to basically install this library. So I'm going to install this. This is the first step that you have to do. Before that, if you don't install, I mean, if you don't have a Node installed, please uh, download the Node.js and make sure you have installed. Okay, that should be greater than six point. Sorry, 7.6.0. Okay, so I'm going to install this uh, library, which is uh, Node Package Manager. So once you install the node, you can simply copy paste this particular command and you can install the library. Okay, I mean the the package. So after that, okay, after installation is done, so now you have to connect your database. So connecting the database, this is a command that you have to follow. So in my case, okay, so before that. So first thing you have to install Node.js, make sure you have installed MySQL or any SQL database. Okay, so for this particular use case, I have taken MySQL. Okay, so since then, I mean, since they are using this one as MySQL, so I'm also going with the MySQL, okay? So make sure you have installed MySQL. This is MySQL database. So I have a couple of uh, database available. So we are going to see today about the this particular one, which is World, okay? So world is the uh, database we are going to connect and we are going to query uh, through the postman to, to I mean, to check the details and, and in the response, right? So, so this is a format. So after installing Node.js, just install the dependency, make sure you have installed the uh, MySQL database, okay? So after this, this is a query. I mean, this is a, I mean, command that you have to run to start the server, okay? So the connections is, this is my uh, X my SQL and localhost. So localhost is connectivity and you have to provide localhost. In my case, I'm using localhost. Okay, so this database is being connected to my localhost. So that's why I'm using, maybe in your case, if you have some IP address or some address or host address, okay? And your username. So in this case, my username is root and password also I'm keeping as a default one as a root and I'm going to connect the database as world. Okay, so here I have three database. I'm going to connect the world database. So this is a comment. I'm going to copy and I'm going to execute in the comment prompt. Okay. So now as per their instruction, like you can see setup usage. So once you run this command, you can see this, uh, that your server will be connected to local with 3000 port like this. Okay. So this is what I'm getting here also. Yes, so here you can see, this is what I'm getting. Generating REST API at the speed of your uh, thought. I like a database name is world and number of table is three. So I have only three tables under this. One is city and one is, uh, I mean, uh, country and one is country lines. So totally three. So that is what coming here. So now what I can do, you can copy this localhost URL and you can go to Postman. So this is a Postman localhost, okay? So when I delete this, so just make sure uh, it is up and running, okay? So it is up and running. You can see, I can see the, the resources coming as a city and the count, country, and I have country language. So, so totally three uh, tables, okay? So all three tables are coming here, okay? So now if you go to this particular page and now, so successfully we have connected and you can start coding as per your requirement, okay? So for example, the first one, like uh, we can see, uh, there are a list of, I mean, lot of examples on the, the API overview also they have given. So we'll start by uh, one by one. So let's go here. And this is one of the, uh, I mean, 
these are the API endpoints like you have to see here. So if you want to see how many all the tables, okay, how many tables are present. So we are going with the API slash tables. Okay, that is what I'm doing here. So totally we have three tables. One is uh, here you can see one is a city and one is a country and one is country country. So total three things are coming here. Okay. So likewise, um, I want to see what are the uh, uh, the data type like this. Uh, so data type in the sense, what kind of uh, uh, each ID columns, right? So describe the each table for it is column. Like for example, it's just in uh, a bad care or integer, right? So I'm going to see for the city, I'm going to describe. So it is going to return the value like a field ID is ID, type is integer, for name it's cat 35, right? Country, country code is only three, district is cat 20. So this is going to return all the data type, okay? And and we have like a, we can query also, for example, when you scroll down, uh, you can see the pagination. pagination is available and you can do the order by sorting and you can go for this, uh, I mean, all comparison operator, logical operator, and operator, everything you can do, count everything, okay? So I have taken a couple of examples, let's go here. Uh, the first thing is a uh, pagination, okay? So I want to see uh, the 500, so if I don't do that, so by default, uh, it is showing like around, it is coming with only ID 20, right? So if I do the size with 500, so I'm going to get 500 IDs in the page. So here you can see, I'm getting as 500. Oh, only maximum is 100 allowed, I think. Okay, let me control control with 50. Yeah, so now I can see it is coming as a 50. So I want to uh, go for uh, sorting, which is by population. So I'm going to sort now. So this is gonna be an ascending order. So the population list is coming first. And when I do the descending, so this is minus one, you have to put minus symbol, okay? So when I put minus symbol here, so it is coming in the reverse order, which is descending order, okay? And you can put the where condition also where ID equal to five, right? So I'm going to retry this. Yeah, it is coming as an Armstrong. So if you want to, I mean, cross verify, you can go here and I'm going to make it as this one as five. Let's see, we are getting Amsterdam, Netherlands. Or not. So we are getting Amsterdam, Netherlands as a country, a name. Okay. Things are coming correctly here. And you can go for an and condition also. So all this, everything is written here. So they have a detailed documentation about how to query and all the combinations like a group by having everything. So this is one of the like an and query, like for example, I'm going for uh, the ID should be equal to five and the country code should be NLD, which is again, I'm going to get the same result, this one, okay? And group by country code. So this is going to group by, okay, for this AFG, uh, we have four count and for AGO, we have five count. And when you go for a having like a, so I want to see the count is greater than four. Okay. So what are the country that has greater than four? Okay, I think something I'm missing. Okay. Okay, so together. So country code should be having more than four. So I'm getting it. Okay. So this is for retrieving, like a, you can write a query. This is basically a get method, right? So, so far, whatever we have seen, this is a get method. Now, so we have option to create method also, which is post method. So if you scroll all the way up, you can see here, it is possible to create a new row and you can update the replace row and you can, you can go for a patch and you can go for a delete also, okay? So this is for bulk, bulk delete and this is for each delete, I mean, primary, primary key. So we'll see how to create the record. So let's go to the post method and this is our basic API endpoint. So city is a table. I'm going to create one record. So by the name of like ID and this one, name, this one, country, this one, and the district is this one, okay? So when I send this, yeah, it is written to under status, which is success. Uh, I'm, I mean, we are able to create, I mean, we are, we are successfully created the row in the table. Okay, so now uh, how do we confirm? Let's go here. So this is our ID. Go to confirm uh, to the database. Let's query here. Okay. So this is what I have given. Sample name and the country code is INT and the district is Madras. Okay. So now uh, to retrieve the same, I am going to get method. So in the get method, it is passing as a path parameter, not query parameter. Okay. So that is what they have given. 
So here, if you go here, you can see uh, get the particular ID. So you have to use it as a path parameter. So we are able to read drive. So the next one is like I want to update. Right. So update also same thing. Like you have to pass it as a path parameter. You can you can refer it here. This is for paths. Update the row. Okay. So I'm going to update by using the ID. So I'm going to update the population as uh, something like this. Okay. So I think it should be. Okay. So when I send this. I'm able to update. So again, I'm going back to the get method to see uh, this value is changed or not. Yeah, this is changed, right? So let me go to the database as well and check. Yeah, it got updated. So the final one is, so we are able to retrieve all the values by using all the functions. I mean, all the logical operators, everything. And we are able to create the record. And so next one is, so modify, which is a patch and put also you can do that. So here, if you go here, Put also replace the existing row with a new row also possible. Okay. So and the final one is delete. So I'm going to delete by using the same ID as a path parameter. So let me delete this. Okay. So now it got deleted. So now if you go and run this query, we should not see the particular data. Yeah, it is coming as a null. Okay. So even if you go and see here in the get method, it should not it should not return any value. Okay. So this is how we'll connect the, our, our postman to MySQL database, okay? This is a library and this library is being currently moved to uh, NoCodeDB. So when you go to this NoCodeDB, again, this is also one of the experiments we can try. Uh, it will, the open source uh, uh, library kind of like a air table, uh, which will turn MySQL, Postgres, I mean, Postgres, SQL, SQL Server, everything into the smart spreadsheet. Okay, so maybe we can try this one also in the upcoming video and we'll see. Okay, so this these are the two things uh, which we covered. So in my previous video, I have covered how to connect the Postman to Postgres uh, database. And this video, we have seen how to connect the Postman to MySQL database. Okay, that's all about this video. Uh, if you guys have any doubts or comments, uh, please feel free to update in the comment section. Thank you, guys.